In this video, I'm going to share with you how window analysis will be conducted, how we are going to measure impact on our project schedule using this methodology. So basically in Windows analysis, there are five steps we are going to use. There are involved some artifacts like um, documentation as well. The first thing we need to have a certain approved baseline on the basis of that baseline, we have to start our uh, this Windows analysis. The second thing we need to um, see that uh, divide this baseline because this is our project schedule baseline, right? So we have to consider the timeline is starting from the January and it is going to end up on the June. There are six months. So we have to divide this timeline into certain windows fixed like it can be consent among client, consultant and contractor. It can be anything on the basis of our mutual understanding. So in our scenario, we are going to divide our windows analysis for two months. So our uh, window will be fixed and each window will be considered for the two months. Like this would be the first window, the second window and the third window. Separately, we are going to conduct this analysis, okay? Uh, for each window and we are going to calculate the impact on our schedule. The third most important thing, we have to update our project progress, update. So for that reason, we need to carry contemporaneous site records. That's why Windows analysis is very comprehensive and uh, need a lot of effort and accurate data from site, whatever have been uh, happening on the site in terms of progress, in terms of accurate dates, if anything happened on the site, like in delay, rainy season, whatever. Okay. And the fourth most, most important thing, uh, comparison of schedules, which will Primavera P6 is going to us give us the automatic kind of thing. Okay. So comparison is the next thing, fifth thing, uh, fourth, comparison. Comparison. And the fifth, at the end, we are going to prepare a report, our uh, impact of schedules. So these are important steps we are going to, uh, you know, uh, carry, conduct while doing this project uh, delay analysis using Windows analysis. A lot of people are going to ask things that why we are using Windows analysis because the first thing, uh, it's a retrospective uh, methodology. When project is done, you are on the edge of your project completion is arrived and you are not in the position to deliver project, um, you know, um, uh, as per the contractual completion date. So you have to carry this windows analysis and uh, how much it impacted on your project. So let's start. This is our uh, very simple project in which you can see that there is a bridge construction and we have just divided our bridge activities into four things, excavation foundations, concrete abutment, concrete deck, lighting and furniture, and then there is approach road, excavate road, lay drain paving, street lighting, and completion. So there is a critical path. So the contractor, the assumption in it that contractor is um, expert in this work, whereas this work need to be subcontract, okay? Because the contract who, uh, to whom this work has been awarded is not expert in approach road works. That guy is only expert in bridge construction. So that guy is going to sublet this work. So there is an activity subcontract road work. So now we are going to consult with, we have already saved this. I will share this XDR file. Um, you have to uh, take this XDR file as it is and, um, you know, um, update your project schedule as I'm going to follow all these steps. Okay. So the first thing, whatever you have to do over here is to save this, your, uh, you know, baseline as a over here and assign this baseline. So your Primavera P6 automatically compare your project schedule and all that. So I'll be sharing the contemporaneous record, which I have uh, saved over here. So here, this is the first window, the first window analysis. And meanwhile, if I'll share Primavera P6 dashboard, you can see that there is a float as well, 66 days in the second, uh, this uh, road, approach road, right? So this is our scenario, the first window. The first window is actually, uh, you know, this project is actually starting from 1st of January, going to end up on the 30th of J J June. So 
that is what actually I have explained on my uh, Primavera P6 window. Okay, so that is exactly over there. So what you need to do, you have to focus on this, the first window data. The excavation starts, right? We have to update our project progress on the 28th of February because our window is going to end up on that date, right? January and February, okay? So within that window, we have excavation started, subcontract bid compiled, day 10, VU1 issued, variance order. Why? Because uh, the, you know, excavation was uh, suggested, instructed for more depth to be done. So for that reason, we need to make 20 days extra. We need to put 20 days extra in the excavation activity, right? And on the day 25, road subcontract awarded. That was supposed to end up, uh, start or uh, finish on 20th day. So five days are late. We are late here as well. Okay. Day 58, end of window, okay, abutment excavation almost completed, road paving cannot be sourced, material shortage. So I will see on the other window that how it is done. We are going to incorporate this VU1 increased depth, obviously, right? This is updated, initial excavation, okay, due to extra work allotted, we are given 20 days extra as per estimation okay so we are going to add this one more activity over here okay so the second most important thing our subcontract road work award activity is going to take five more extra days okay so these are the two things and then shortage of material where is the shortage of material paving not commenced due to material shortage over here so in the previous window you can see uh where it is, it is not started actually. Okay, so we are going to highlight this one as well. So I'm going to share with you people over here. So here we are. So right now, uh, what we need to do, we have to add. There are many methodologies we can follow. A lot of people are suggesting we should add one more WBS over here and we should add our all delays over there. And other school of thought is actually suggesting we should add all our activity but when we are working in primavera p6 it's quite difficult to add activities in between your already settled activities right so it is better that we can make our one just give me a moment uh, we should make one more delay analysis uh, wbs because when the, the the previous window was only compiled in ppt so that's very easy to arrange your activities but when you are working in primavera p6 i don't want to make trouble for you people so over here risk or delay events okay delay fragment whatever delay events okay so activities over here i have one delay event let's say this is vo1 and vo1 is actually extra ex excavation extra depth just something okay so it actually offers me 20 days. So now this need to make more, uh, you know, uh, the, the rearrange up the relationships. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make over here activity details. I'm going to remove it. Yes. Assign over here this one. And after this, I'm going to assign this activity right you understand and then that is rearrangement of obviously you added either you can make 60 days over here but we have to show that fragment as well maybe later on when we are in the meeting we can forget why it's gone from 40 to 60 so we have to add a, a separate fragment and that fragment because as per logic we are supposed to start a concrete abutment after excavation now this excavation will be started, finished, and then a concrete abatement will be finished. So we have added that risk event as a separate activity under this WBS and rearrange our, uh, you know, you can see this um, relationship, okay? And the second most important thing, we are going to add, uh, you can say extra five days as well. One more activity, awarding contract, award contract, and uh, this is going to take five days and 
there is subcontract award. So what I'm going to add after this, there is one way. It's not a very strict thing that I should add 25 days over here like, no, actually I'm following that all delay events should be there, right? So what I'm going to do, remove it. Yes, assign so that we can discuss and after that we should assign this excavate road right excavate road where it is like this one okay and uh, what that window is actually explaining us we have one excavation starts okay excavation is started okay that's great but it's not done yet excavation started Okay, so let me share with this one. All the relationships are done, right? So let me just one minute. I will be updating this progress. In general, status started and it was, uh, no, 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 not this award contract, this one. Excavation Foundation started and it is supposed to finished. Okay. Started, finished. Okay, this is actually 60 days in and then mm -hmm. subcontract was done. Started, finished. This started, finished. Okay. And uh, now at the end of this window, 28 Feb, right? That is our end schedule. See, now it is going to give you impact, impact of 20 days extra. First of all, this project, now it is going to give you, okay? So this is going to be delayed by 19 days. See, this is going to delay by 19 days. Initially, this project was supposed to end up in 180 days. After updation, the first window impact is going to tell you that by incorporating all this data, what you are going to get. That is the first screenshot you should incorporate into your report, which is called narrative report. Contro uh, you know, you can take screenshot and you can add into your narrative report before and after. This is your first window. In first window, the impact of first window is going to give you the two delay events, 19 days delay, and it is going to impact on your project like this way. You can add columns like this one as well. This is really focused one topic. So I'm not... Uh, taking in speedy way so stay with me with the patience okay so here we are lie and you can analyze over here that how it is going to impact now your project is going to end up on 18th of july this is your planning date this is your real date okay that's how you can add these columns as well and furthermore you can see that there are two kind of columns i have added see uh, not columns, uh, bars, I mean, right? Bars, there is one baseline. The underneath bar, the thin bar, the yellowish bar is actually your planned bar. The